So I was down in Melbourne having a thrift and I picked up an absolutely epic rip curl jacket. I love finding this sort of stuff. And in the same savers, I found a footy. It's not just any old footy, it was from the 90s, signed by the team and still in the box. The box was a little bit beat, but it was still pretty nice. And then I got a message from Bianca saying, are you coming out today or tomorrow to set up your market stall? I thought it was next week. I'm not ready at all. So today, we're gonna help me set up this stall of mine at the Ballarat Vintage and Collectibles Market. Let's go. So Lyndon found me a couple of uh, racks on Marketplace. I'm gonna pick them up, I think they're 50 bucks each. She had three, I've said I want two, but I'll have a look at them first if they fit. Uh, I might grab three. Keep mine for home as well, so I'm gonna quickly shoot over there and grab that. So heading out there now, we are loaded up. There's only a couple of racks and a couple of shells for now. I just gotta see what fits, so. so we'll go out, say hello, take that out, take some of the clothes out, and then uh, go from there. Worst bit is I still got a list on eBay. So just had a quick Kmart stop. I wanted to get some coat hangers just to make sure I had a heap. And oh, it's about 100, 200 there. And it made me think how much I hate Kmart. We all know somebody that absolutely froths on Kmart. And they go, oh, I get lost in Kmart. I love Kmart, blah, blah, fucking blah. Uh, why? It's a shithole. It's so busy. It's cheap shit in there. There's nothing great about Kmart, honestly. Um, and the staff, I wasn't a big fan of. They didn't appreciate my jokes because she said... Um, Looks like you're going to be hanging a lot of things. And I said, no, I'm, I'm starting an abortion clinic. She didn't like that. She gave me a funny look. Anyway, I am now looking to get a glass cabinet. We'll set that up, take some stuff out there. I've dropped a few shelves off in that. Um, and we'll see how we go. All right, can't go. So there's a bit going on now, I'm finally in, and you can see we've got some games down there, just some old toys, the trading cards, which has been my main seller out here, this is where all my cards go these days, and video games, but I'm bringing in the jeans, the vintage shirts, player issue footy jumpers, uh, we've got vintage jackets, so I'm going to go pretty clothing heavy out here to see how it goes, as well as the cards and video games and toys, and a little bit of vinyl too, so it's starting to come together. So I just took some more stuff out there. There's a few bits and pieces that I picked up from auction. Just side memorabilia and whatnot, ACDC drumstick, if anyone's interested in that. Um, some signed prints and that that come with certificates. Some more cards out there, some more clothing. A fair bit of footy gear out there. There'll be a lot of that going out there because I froth on that. Take shape, so I'll go back out next week or the week after. Well, I'll definitely go there next week because I have to do my first shift, and um, I'll just start sort of moving things around and working out what 
goes where. So here's a look. Have a look at the store so far. Let me know what you think and what I should do if I should move stuff around or change it up a bit. And um, I'll be doing a bit of content out there in the future so that it's going to be good fun and you'll be able to see what happens with the stall and everything that goes on out there. So I've been out there four days now. Looks like a few things have sold, which is great. A few hundred bucks in the bank. Um, not complaining with that. So hopefully it's just onwards and upwards from here. But very quick one today. Something extremely different. I have clearly been very busy. Uh, I tore my goddamn hamstring last weekend as well. So I'm getting around on one leg. Uh, yes, it was the third time I've done it or fourth time. And I, from barely even moving. Nothing cool even happened. Um, yeah. So uh, I thought I'd still slap this together, let everyone know what I've been up to and show you around at the Ballarat Vintage and Collectibles Market. So if you're in town, come down, have a look. It's not just mine. The joint's friggin' huge. You've seen it on this channel before. There's so much cool stuff out there. And you know, if you're a collector, a reseller, anything, go out there, have a look. You'll find something, I'm telling you. So, um, and that's not just mine. And I've always plugged this joint even before I was in there. So I uh, appreciate you all and back to regular programming next week. Dip a, dip a doodle dumb, I'm a thrift a big fat. <laughs>